After watching this video, you will be confident in answering this question in any interview. If you want to cover all the .NET interview questions, then please click on like and subscribe buttons. So let's start. How to optimize a stored procedure or SQL query? This is a performance related question. Uh, let me show you the screenshot here. When you run a insert or update query in SQL Server like this, then you will see these messages one rows affected one row affected like this so inside a sp when you are writing any sp there is no need to show these messages because anyway they are occupying some memory might be very little but yes so one way is to set the no count on might be you have seen it at many places so it will basically not show these messages it will setting no count on no count this is the count and it will be not uh, execute in your load procedure if you will set this statement at the top second way to optimize a stored procedure is whenever you are writing any query specify the columns names instead of using a strict in select a statement so avoid select star from write select column a column b from like this the next way to improve the performance of your stored procedure is use a schema name before dbo objects or table names for example if you have a employee table then dbo is the schema which is the most common schema or you might be have any other schema as per your project so use it before the table name because if you have more than one schema then this query will check in all the schema that where where is this table and that is again not good for performance next is do not use dynamic queries they are vulnerable to sql injections dynamic queries are runtime queries i can uh, this is a different topic although but uh, if you know about them this can be a point that do not use dynamic queries because somebody from the outside can write can insert these dynamic queries in via the sql injections next is use exists uh, you have might have seen like if exists this statement uh, in lot of stored procedure so instead of using count use if exists so this is the wrong way select count one from db you employ and then you will uh, check rather use this technique if select one from db one employees so use exist instead of count then use transaction when required only transactions are basically to maintain uh, that all the statements inside the transaction are must execute or none of them execute so you are if you are writing a transaction statement and inside this transaction between the begin and end if there are three statements uh, all of these three statements will execute or none of these three statements are executed that is a good practice but use them only when required if it is not required do not use them in your stored procedure uh, there are many more things for performance but i am keeping it short and crisp for now uh, because getting into the details is not good from interview point of view